Good morning, I'm Rose Picard. This is Godly Play for Sunday, March 21st. In the beginning, the baby was born. God chose Mary to be the mother of God. Listen carefully. Listen to the words. God chose Mary to be the mother of God, and the word was born, a wordless child. When the baby looked up into the face of the mother Mary, he already saw the cross. When he looked into the face of Father Joseph, the cross was there too. The mother Mary and the father Joseph held the baby very close. They kept the baby warm. They gave the baby everything he needed to grow. And then he did begin to grow. The baby grew and became a boy. When he was about 12 years old, he went with the mother Mary and the father Joseph and with many other people from their village of Nazareth to the great city of Jerusalem to keep one of the high holy days. When the celebration was over, the people from Nazareth went out through the great high gate and started on the road toward home. Suddenly, Mary and Joseph turned around and saw that Jesus was not there. They thought he had been playing with the other children from the other village as they walked together. They hurried back into the great city of Jerusalem to find him. Mary and Joseph looked in the dark and narrow streets. They looked in the marketplace where they had bought their food. They looked where they had spent the night. They looked everywhere. Finally, they went and looked in the temple, and there he was. He was talking to the rabbis and the priests. When he spoke, they all listened to him, because he knew so much. And when they spoke, he listened, because he wanted to learn more. Mary and Joseph then asked Jesus the question all parents ask their children, the question you can never answer. Why did you do this? And Jesus said something very strange. He said, didn't you know I would be in the house of my father? Mary and Joseph didn't understand what he meant. Their house was in Nazareth, where Joseph's carpenter shop was. They did not understand, but they did not forget. Jesus grew and became a man. When he was about 30 years old, he went to the River Jordan, where his cousin John was baptizing people. Do you see John? You can just see the back of his head. He was a wild man. Jesus waded into the river until he was face to face with John. He said, baptize me. John looked at Jesus as if for the very first time, and now he saw who he really was. How can I baptize you? You are the Messiah, the one we have been waiting for. You must baptize me. Jesus said, No, it is written that you will come before me and prepare the way. Baptize me. Jesus went down into the darkness and the chaos of the water. When John lifted him back up into the light, there were people there who said they saw a dove flying above Jesus' head. He came down from heaven, and the dove came very close to him. There were also people there that day that heard a voice. The voice said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. After Jesus was baptized, he went on across the river Jordan into the desert. And he stayed there for 40 days and 40 nights to learn more about who he was and what his work was going to be. Jesus went into the desert to discover more about who he was and what his work was going to be. He was there for 40 days and 40 nights. There was little to eat or to drink. One day he heard a voice. It said, Why don't you turn one of these stones over there into bread and have something to eat? Jesus said, no. To be a real human being, we need more than just bread to eat. 
Suddenly, it was as if Jesus were on the top of the great temple in Jerusalem. The voice came back. If you are really the Son of God, why don't you jump and see if God sends the angels to catch you before you hit the stones below? Jesus said, no, we don't test God. Then it was as if Jesus could see all the kingdom of the world. The voice came back again. If you will follow me, I will make you king over all of these kingdoms. Jesus said, no, I am to be king, but not that kind of king. And then the voice went away. Jesus went back across the Jordan and began to do his work. But what was his work? His work was to come close to people, especially the people no one else wanted to come close to. See, he has come so close to this blind man that he could touch his eyes. When Jesus came close to people, they changed. They could see things they could never see before, and they could do things they could never do before. They became well. Jesus also told parables. Finally, he knew that he had to become a parable. So he turned towards Jerusalem for the very last time. Thank you for joining me for Godly Play. Have a blessed week.